hi guys welcome back we're back with another video and in today's video we are going to be talking about the market maker cycle and how you can actually use this to trade in line with the dealer now the market maker cycle is very simple all right for those people who don't have knowledge in this or need more knowledge in this uh, you can always check out um, our other videos on the channel so you can learn more about what this market maker cycle is and how you can actually trade in line with the dealer now uh, the market maker cycle consists of three levels right and uh, what we actually want to see is we want to see a peak formation right this pattern um, is regarded as uh, as a peak formation high right and this can be made simple by just looking for an m or a w in case of a buy right so after this peak formation forms we want to see the first level of drop pull back second level of drop pull back third level of drop and a peak formation in this case this is a peak formation low and this can be seen as a w formation right now it won't be this clear on the charts right as this drawing as you know um the market moves up and down and it's not always perfect guys right so don't be looking uh, for something which is perfect on the market, right? But you just need to understand um, this cycle, right? Mm -hmm. So this cycle, um, by understanding this cycle, right, you also need to understand the session timings, right? You need to understand the right time to trade, right? And uh, when not to trade, right? You need to understand that you want to follow this cycle um, at the right times and after, uh, people have been induced to go the other direction right so it's a simple cycle right a three level cycle one two three and then we expect a reversal right we expect a reversal after this now is the market always going to give you three levels no this can be extended to four or five right but in order to remain consistent right you need to make sure that you stick to the market maker cycle which is the three level uh, count All right so uh, we're going to look at some markups uh, that we had on some char on some pairs and then we're going to look at how uh, we came along with that trading decision All right so the first uh, pay we're going to look at is zero usd and uh, as you can see on your usd if we actually look uh, at what happened from this demand area we had a peak formation one day of rise into consolidation another uh level right another level and as you can see this second level actually had three levels in it as you can see one two three but this is just a second level right into consolidation and then we had the last level right so from the last level what we had is we had a peak formation as you can see and this was validated uh, by this move as you can see how price moved on this day we had a nice clean uh drop right so this is one day of drop right so after this my anticipation was to see the market get back to this area why because as you can see this peak formation was already locked right and also we had a 5200 crossover so i wanted to see a move around this area and also at this point of interest right here right so if we can go to the charts um this is what we can see this was from the m uh, m30 time frame right that was from the m30 time frame and as you can see we actually had a nice move all right um away from that area and as you can see we have been moving to the downside uh, and actually our area which we're targeting in this case um you know was around 170 pips and that area has already uh, been hit right there right so this was a nice um, setup that we had and uh, we definitely made money on this right if you haven't joined our telegram channel um, do find the link in the description below um, so you know we share setups and we also share uh, more educational content right so uh, we actually had an explanation rather or the peak um, we actually had the analysis sorry right on euro usd as you can see this is what we wanted to see this is how it played out and 
uh, this was our execution, right? So this was also a nice trade um, that uh, actually played out, right? So the second one that we looked at was GBP JPY, and on GBP JPY, uh, we could clearly identify a peak right here, right? We identified the peak, and we could see that price is actually moving away from that. So from this peak formation, we had a day of drop into a consolidation, another drop right and then the last drop right so after the, uh, because we had this 5200 cross over as you can see i had highlighted this cross right i wanted to see a peak formation all right at this order block as you can see how price left this area and i wanted to see a continuation so can you see how these setups look very similar right after the 5200 cross over we wanted to see a move at that zone right and that's the same thing uh, that we we're able to identify on GBP JPY, right? So if you can check <coughs> um, to see what happened on GBP JPY, um, this is what we can see. Let me just find the chart. All right. So this is what we had. Um, it was a very clean setup. All right. For me, it was a very, very clean setup. Right? As you can see, this was the area that we were focusing on. All right. That's the area that we wanted to see. And we want to see the reset, and the reset was actually initiated at that point. Our main target is down here, All right? So that means uh, you had an opportunity. Right now, you'd be floating over 200 pips, and our target, we're looking at 300 pips. So this was also a nice one, a very clean one. And this is just by understanding the market maker cycle, All right? And we also looked at uh, CAD JPY. On CAD JPY, I wanted to see the market move back to this area because of this peak formation and this the the, uh, the lock of this peak formation by this 1350. I wanted to see a bounce off the 50 EMA at this zone right here, and I wanted to see price move down to these zones right here. I was also planning on looking for uh, long positions, but uh, with how the structure is right now, uh, I'll just step back a bit and see um, how the market plays out. But um, if we check GBP J uh, CAD JPY. Um, this is what we can identify uh, on KJPY and the H1. Remember, we wanted to see the move right here. All right, and as you can see, that's exactly where the market went to. And we have been dropping um, from that level. Right now, we're looking at over 200 pips um, that you had there. So the risk to reward on this was, was, was okay. All right. It was awesome right, on, on this trade right here. So this was also a nice one, uh, trade that we looked at. And then uh, we also looked at um, this one. Uh, we had news today, so a little bit of manipulation. Uh, we had a peak formation, um, a lock, right? A 5200 crossover. I wanted to see a bounce off this 50 or trap above, right? Around these zones, as this was above the Asian range, right? So if we look at US 30, um, this is how it played out, All right? A little bit of manipulation. We did not take this trade though. Um, we did not execute this trade uh, because of the manipulation. But as you can see, uh, they extended the stop 100 bit, but we still had our peak formation, as you can see, right? Still had our peak formation, and as you can see, uh, it continued dropping. But you can see the manipulations uh, that we had right there, right? The manipulation there was crazy, right? So uh, you always need to keep an eye on that because the market can always be manipulated, right? So you always need to make sure that you've got a plan on how you're going to protect your account when such happens, right? Because you might be right on your analysis, but the execution part uh, can be a problem, right? And uh, we also looked at, um, we actually sent this as a signal in our VIP group, and we looked at Euro JPY. <clears throat> and as you can see, this is where we executed. Uh, we had a stop loss just above, and our first take profit was down here, right? That was our first take profit, and we also gave us a uh, second take profit. So if we look at that <coughs> from the M15 time frame and why we executed that trade, we executed this trade here, right? So we saw that, okay, we already had good moves to the downside, right? And we already had a peak formation lock. So we're actually anticipating uh, a 50 bounce, right? This is a setup, 50 bounce, and that is where we entered. We entered around this area. The first take profit was hit, which was around about 95 pips. Or just say 90 pips yes that's 90 something pips but yeah we hit the first take profit there 
and our second take profit we want to see the market push down to this 800 ema right so as we're still holding uh we are looking at a good uh 200 pips if price reaches um that area all right all right guys hope you guys learned something from this video if you are new here don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell icon to be the first to watch when we upload any new content cheers have you been struggling to make consistent profits in the forex market or not had enough time to analyze the market and trade at MMK, we have experienced and qualified traders who analyze the markets and send signals directly to your phone. We are highly selective traders and we provide 5 to 10 signals weekly and a minimum pip count of 1,000 pips monthly. Join the winning team and stop donating your money to brokers.